Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome to the channel. I know it's been a while since I put out content. I think it's only been a couple weeks, but regardless, just want to say I've been working on some things in the background, not only crypto related, but some just things in my personal life as well, my normal life. So been doing that. So I am back. So much content to cover. So many new projects. We are somewhat in a bull run. You know, people are going to contemplate if we are, if we're not, whatever. But hey, based on these gains we're making, I'm saying that we're in a bull run. So as always, welcome to the channel. My name is S Crypto 101, where my main mission is to help you as well as myself to build our bags. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell button so you're notified as soon as these videos are released and leave your feedback about this new project that we're covering in today's video in the comment section below now two things when it comes to crypto you can either panic or you can ape but in this situation you can do both so welcome to panic ape this is a new nft social network that is in a new project that has come out recently it's been about a week and a half from what i understand but we'll look at the chart we're going to go through the documentation i'm going to show you exactly how to get started so this is something that came across my desk so let's look at the price currently so the price is actually looking pretty good as we can see this launched around the end of march so we're a little less than two weeks in so i don't believe this is a correct market cap you know sometimes deck screeners a little wonky but you can see this is number 28 trending so it's it's high on the trending list but it's trending nonetheless 148,000 worth of liquidity here and a market cap saying it's at 7.5 million in the past 24 hours we're sitting at a 14.84 percent price increase and as you can see this chart looks pretty healthy if we go back over here to panic ape so this is going to be the white paper i'm not going to go through every single thing in here because that's what i want you to do to ensure that you're doing your due diligence but the things to know i'm going to show you exactly here so how to play because this is what's important so you need to come over here and you need to come to home and as always this is not financial advice I'm just showing you all how to get started with this protocol. If it's something that you want to do, like we just checked, the price of the PAPE token is going up and the NFTs that we'll be able to buy here are going to allow us to be able to get those tokens. So for example, we have some BNB here in the wallet. So I am going to commit 0.1 for us to get started. And we're going to go ahead and buy so now you can randomize this is based on you know which one that you like the look of and let's see if we come across one i like mm, we need someone with like a bag or like a hammer now this guy looks like he can get handy so we're going to go ahead and buy this and what that's going to allow us to do is be able to get one of these panic apes and as it shows here buy panic ape nft and mint pape tokens every day so we'll see exactly how this opens up and another cool thing is here on the right side you can see you have the ability to open a box now in these box there are different levels of nft almost like accessories that you'll be able to use level one you get an additional 0.1 percent daily you get 0.2 percent daily additional if you get a level two and then 0.3 percent daily if you have a level three so we'll go ahead and open one of these it's a pity that you didn't get anything keep up the good work ah so see it just shows you you're not always going to get something it's supposedly randomized so there's going to be some days that you get something there's going to be some days that you don't now if you want to try for a second box you can log in with your x or your twitter account and then that's going to allow you to be able to receive more boxes so let's go ahead and refresh this and let's see if we got our panic ape okay so we can see here this is the 0.1 BNB that we currently have staked here. And then we're going to be able to earn PAPE tokens. So this will show us the amount earned so far. And then this is going to show us the claimable amount. So obviously this is a very small amount, so I'm not going to claim anything, but I'll definitely make an update video later on to show you exactly how that works and how this accumulates. Now, what's going to be important too is people are going to want to know 
this is the percentages that you'll need to know because that's what really is really going to affect this so to start here the panic ape uses a credit certificate mechanism users who own the nft can pledge and pledge and pledges can gain the pape token this is something that is definitely something you want to take note of the nft can be destroyed and the principal bnb withdrawn after 35 days so i've seen it go back and forth on if this is good to have versus if it's not good to have so i really don't have an opinion i think that you know when people have the ability to withdraw their funds they're sometimes willing to put in a little bit more but they're going to be quicker to pull it out once it hits that time period so we'll see um, I'm personally, you know, going to do my time here, <laughs> making it sound like jail, but I'm going to do my time. And then after that, I would reassess and see if it makes sense for me to pull my BNB. But this shows you here the NFT items that we were talking about from the treasure boxes, the panic ape. This is just going to give you a basic background. Here are the rewards that you'll be able to earn. So this is the treasure chest that we talked about. So there's the one that you get daily and then there's the one that you can get if you do a Twitter post or if you log in with your Twitter or X account, whatever you want to call it. There's going to be a farm function here, which will be launched within one month after launch. So farmers will be able to take their PAPE tokens and re-pledge them, which will help with liquidity. So that's going to be interesting to see how that works out and how that helps out the protocol. There's a market here as well, which will allow NFT items to be circulated and purchased on the market so that you can kind of beef up your earnings on a daily basis. This is how to play. So you select the amount of NFTs you need to purchase using the BNB function that I just did earlier that I showed you. The NFT obtained generates equity. The F NFT will generate PAPE tokens with a basic daily income of 1%. So you're able to bump it up all the way to 1.9% based off of the NFT items here. So if you were able to get three level three NFT items, you would have the max daily income, which is 1.9%. So 1%, that's definitely more so in the range of being sustainable in comparison to some of the other things that we've seen in the space. So I think 1% is a good number. And then just going to talk about the purpose, the tokenomics. So they have 2.1 billion in supply. 80% is used for eight mining and the remaining 20% is going to be used for the farm. So all of the circulating supply or all the supply in general is going to be used to pay out either the miners or it's going to pay out the farmers, which will come a little bit later. They do have a referral based program here that they call Socialify. So this is if you share a Twitter post, you'll get the treasure chest, which we talked about earlier. And then you also get invitation rewards for people on a two level system. So if you're interested in having friends, family join or a community, then this is one way that you can use that to earn a little bit of additional income on the side. And then of course we know what a DAO is and we don't need to really go through a definition about what that is, but really just wanted to more so introduce you to this and show you what's going on. As you can see, here's my NFT. It tells you what I'm earning daily, which is 1%, which 1% 1 of 0.1 BNB is only 0.01 BNB. But hey, if BNB gets to be a thousand dollars, that's, that's not bad to be earning every single day. Now, this shows you that you'd be able to withdraw your funds after this time period ends. And then this is where you'd be able to add those additional items to make your daily percentage even higher. So I really do just like the design of this one. It looks like someone took their time with it. Someone knew what they were doing. So that's definitely cool to see. And I just kind of like the art style with this. So, hey, if it's something that tickles your fancy, you think this is going to be something that can make you some money. I just put in a little bit of BNB to see what it's going to do. As we get to this bull run, this upcoming bull run, there's going to be a lot of protocols, a lot of projects that we see come out that are going to try to help you build your bag. Some are going to be good. Some are not going to be great at all. But with that, make sure that you continue to support the channel. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Let me know what your thoughts are on Panic Ape. Are you going to hop in? What do you think of BNB in general? You think we're going to get to a thousand dollar BNB? Let me know in the comment section below. Continue to support the social media we have at X as well as Instagram and TikTok. That's going to be S Crypto 101. And then, of course, we got the Bag Builder Telegram, which you can come join. That is going to be linked in the comment section as the pinned comment as well as in the description below. So definitely check that out once again. 
I appreciate everyone who has been checking out the videos recently. I know I've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but your boy S Crypto is back in the building and I'm ready to continue to do what I do best and that is help you to build your bags.